Vienna for me is where the origin of classical music is. I feel part of the history every time I walk on the street in Vienna, let alone to play in Musikverein or Schönbrunn or this kind of a holy ground of <laughs> classical music. Memories in Vienna, of course, was the first time I played in Musikverein. <laughs> <laughs> I was quite blinded by the goldenness. Playing there is one thing, but attending the balls in January, that was another experience. I felt like I was in another century. Like I went uh, with a time machine <laughs> to somewhere so fairy tale like I was a residence in Concert House and then playing in Schönbrunn this year. I landed in Vienna and got the car to drive me to Schönbrunn. I only took walks there before. And yesterday they set up this stage and it was just really glorifying and emotional. I mean, even without playing anything. And plus the Vienna Phil is playing there. <laughs> it's just, it's something bigger than life. Well, maybe because the live quality gives us this joy as well. And the joy comes from playing the piano or just the intense concentration comes from it, enhanced by the such gorgeous halls and acoustic and audience. And it just always becomes something really magical. I think every time I play in Vienna, I feel like it's a certain high. Vienna definitely, in a way or in several ways, <laughs> is my home. Uh, in Europe, and I, I'm just very privileged and honored to to be part of the city. Vienna just sounds golden to me. It sounds like waltz. <laughs> sounds like Sachertrotte. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that's more like how I feel after I ate the Sachertrotte. <laughs> Lots of friends in Vienna, and it always happens in Vienna, no matter which season I tour around. And then all of a sudden, when I'm in Vienna, I see 10 friends at the same time. All the musicians are concentrated in this city, and it's small, and it feels very cozy. Once I'm here, I'm just, I just feel happy, I feel safe, I feel loved. I love working in the Staatspark, and then the concert house is not far from Musikverein. Well, there's like 10 concerts every night. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like a little piece of paradise where you kind of land. You know, our touring life is not exactly easy. So once we come back to a home, I would say New York is not exactly the most relaxing. Um, but Vienna, you got the excitement of, you know, meeting everybody. And at the same time, it's, it's just kind of like a cozy cocoon that you can protect yourself in as well. Vienna without music, it will still be nice. The cakes are going to be there, the coffee is going to be there, and the Viennese knows how to enjoy life. <laughs> and I have to say the museums are awesome. So the music is, I wouldn't say it's a bonus. I think it's pretty essential though. <laughs>